Hello, my aviation enthusiasts and av geeks. Today, I got another one from Poppy's Treasure, which you can find in my bio or in my link tree. Um, and, well, if you're on TikTok, it's in my link tree in my bio. If you're on the red play button, I'll add the link tree to the description. Um, if you're on my Facebook group, it will be in the in the uh, description as well. So, this is the box. Uh, let me open it up and get it out and see what we got today. If you ever wondered how Poppy Treasure packs their packages, you, you get he gets packing peanuts and he wraps it in bubble wrap and it's um, protected really well. I've had boxes from the post office come a little messed up and everything was fine. And this is what we got. We got the Alaska Salmon People livery, I believe is what it's called. It's an Alaska 737-800. Uh, uh, here's the front of the box. Left side of the box. Under the box. Right side of the box. Top of the box. Back of the box. And then, of course, the flip up for a preview and the informational uh, facts about the Boeing 737 and some specifications. Let me get it out of the box for you. Okay. I'm going to show you something real quick. This is not Poppy's Treasure's problem. This is a Gemini Jet's problem. See how the wing is off? This is a Gemini Jet's quality control issue. This is something that they've all been talking about in a lot of videos. The wings come off, the tails come off, but not a problem. Just a little bit of super glue and it will fix it just fine. Okay, a little bit of super glue and it's fixed up just fine. We'll bring it in for a close look. Oh, look at that. Landing gear is missing as well. Wonder if that's in the box. Yep, it's in the box. A little bit of super glue will fix that too. Again, this is a Gemini Jet problem, not a Poppy Treasure problem. Um, I will talk to Tim and let him know. Um, and he usually does very well um, with communicating. I will not return this to him. I fixed it myself. This is a Gemini Jet's quality control problem. Okay? So you may get one like this. You may not. I should have got the NG version, but I like supporting Tim and, and Tim Poppy. Um, and, um, uh, he's a really nice guy. So here we go. We got the front of, of the, of the airplane. I can't make out what it says, but we got some writing right there. We got the L1 door. Come on, focus. We got the emergency exits. We got the split scimitars. We got the registration as November 559 Alpha Sierra, the L2 door, the vertical horizontal sta vertical stabilizer with detail. Here's the top of the plane with the detailed wings, the slats, flaps, and spoilers. The right side of the plane, cargo door number one, cargo door number two, the underneath of the plane, the front of the plane, the landing gear is a little crooked because I had to super glue it in and I couldn't clean out the rest of the stuff that was in there. The back of the plane. It does have the Wi-Fi box. Overall, besides the issues with the quality control, um, this seems like a really good model. I might buy the NG version just to compare it. But uh, this, the, the issues that you saw is a Gemini Jets quality control issue, not a Poppy Treasure issue or uh, airline collectibles issue. This is a Gemini Jet issue. Um, 
you can get one of these or many other jets uh, in the in my link tree provided in the description or in my bio on TikTok on my link tree. Um, this is just something that happens when you collect airplanes. You get some that are broken. Um, if you're wondering, all the wheels do roll. Not my favorite thing. I, I don't like the wheels that roll, but some people do. Um, but anyways, besides the small little issues that we had, I hope you enjoy this video and have a good day.